Gaza. Mind your hoofs on my shoes, you horde of bulls. Mind the gun. I was really interested in waiting as a liminal space, a kind of threshold where you haven't quite fully left somewhere and you haven't quite fully arrived. And in that strange empty space, it asks questions about identity, which I'm always, as a writer, interested in who, who are we, who do we want to be, who is the real us. Still ticking and not yet unwound. So I knew I wanted to work with character and narrative and figuring out how the psychology of people relates and fits in to um, really the more philosophical element. First consult the barbarian priest. I was lucky to um, speak to Dr. Maria Alvarez from King's, who's a reader in philosophy. And she was really useful in talking around the subject and kind of pinpointing things that could be more lucid. And she was really useful in pointing me towards Henri Bergson, whose work deals so deeply with time and how we experience time. And that was a real influence in the thinking behind the piece. Usted no me conoce, pero tengo malas noticias. It's a very intimate um, piece, I think, because it's all done, the voice in the head of this character. The piece concerns two characters, a father and a son, who both experience time and waiting differently. The father is in a world in which time is the master and things perish, he fixes things, and because he fixes things, that amplifies the fact that things slowly, slowly die, piece by piece. His son wants to live in the now, in the moment, in a way to attain a kind of immortality. He's frightened of death, he's frightened of time being the master. And within that kind of larger abstract concept, it gets taken into character where the son is saying, I don't want to define myself. Which I think, as you are listening, is quite a uh, few things to discover. There is a death, and well, it's a particular situation. Chris is a very good, good uh, wordsmith. The rhythms of the whole piece is uh, very interesting, and the choice of words uh, is almost kind of poetical and ephemeral. When they listen to it, and the train would be the perfect place to listen to it, um, they'll be really um, empathetic to the character and really feel as if they're in his skin, I hope. 